Hello friends, today we're going to be looking at Autotune Access. So right now they're having a big summary sale, so a lot of their products are 50% off. I picked up Autotune Access for $50 and it also came with a year of Autotune Unlimited. It's one of those auto renew services, but they actually allow you to uncheck the auto renew, which I actually really appreciate. And it's available as a perpetual license. All right, so here it is. This is Autotune Access. It has the same algorithm as a more expensive version, but you just have less control of what's going on. This is resizable. I'll make it big for the video. Yeah, so the main controls are gonna be these two big knobs here. The first one is retune speed, and it's how quickly your vocals are gonna be tuned as you're singing into it. The slow setting is 65 milliseconds. Medium is 25 milliseconds. And fast is three milliseconds. So pretty much instant tuning. Having this all the way up, you really get that T-Pain effect. And then if you want a more natural sound, you're gonna go to slow. Then your other control here is the humanize knob. So what the humanize does is on sustained notes, it relaxes the effects of auto-tune a little bit, giving you more of a natural sound. And they actually have two presets to kind of help you do this quickly. Extreme, just fast tuning, humanize off, and then natural, which is slow tuning, humanize max. Then when using this, you're able to set the key of your song and then major or minor. You also have a chromatic option. And since chromatic means every single note, it doesn't matter what the key is here. It's gonna work the same for all of them. Yeah, so I'll just select the key, D major. Yeah, so as you can see, the grayed out notes are the ones that are not gonna be picked up by auto-tune. So if I'm singing those notes, it actually is just gonna pull me to the nearest note that's in the key. Then you can also click on these notes in order to add them to the scale, or you can remove notes from the scale. Then you have this play notes feature, which is literally just playing this little piano as a MIDI piano. And the purpose of that is when you're working out what your melody is, you might want a quick reference. So for instance, if I'm singing in the key of C, maybe I have a note that's out of that key. Like, oh, I am singing G sharp. So I'm gonna go to remove note and make sure that note is enabled. So when I'm singing it through auto-tune, it's gonna be tuned to G sharp. It's not gonna bring me to G or A, it's gonna be the note that I want. If you're not sure what key your song is in, you can always do chromatic. And now every note is gonna be picked up, so it's not gonna exclude any notes whatsoever. This is a good option if you're not sure what the key is. Yeah, so that's your basic auto-tune settings. Looks like you also have an undo and a redo, which is pretty wild for how simple these controls are. And the way this style in the middle works is it's not showing you how out of tune you are, it's showing you where the correction is being made. And I'll demonstrate that in Massive. All right, so I have auto-tune on Massive. I'm just playing a simple sine wave. As you can see, no tuning is necessary. I'm just gonna take the pitch and I'm gonna bend it flat out of tune. As it does that, you see that the correction is moving in the opposite direction. So this is showing you where it's pulling your vocal. This hold button is kind of odd to me. <laughs> I'll show you how that works out. So it just freezes it there. It doesn't affect the tuning. It's just for the visual of seeing how off you were, I guess. All right, I've just pulled up a project I made. This is my first project where I tried to use auto-tune on some vocals, and here's the result. I just bought auto-tune, don't know if you noticed it. I just bought auto-tune, and now I feel like making hits. Gonna make music that I like, don't even wanna fight. Can I get a little bit of more in my monitor? It sounds great. T-Pain reference. Yeah, so for this song, I wanted that classic auto-tune feel. I just set my key, which is F minor. Then I just did the extreme button, giving me full, fast tuning and humanizing off. I just bought auto-tune, don't know if you noticed it. And I actually wrote this and recorded it through auto-tune. So if I take it off, you can hear I was singing pretty badly. I just bought auto-tune, don't know if you noticed it. Most of the time while I was writing it, I heard myself singing cleanly. I had fun making the T-Pain sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, here is it without. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's look at another project. All right, so now I'm in another project. This is a folk song that I produced. And there is vocal tuning going on in this, but it's through Melodyne. I see the stars at night. I'm thinking of you. And Melodyne was added as a plugin, so I can actually take it off and hear the untuned vocals. I see the stars at night. I'm thinking of you.
You notice that the tuning on this song is way better than the last example, and that's because this is a folk song, I wanted it to sound human and authentic. And the best way to do that is just to sing it as well as you can without pitch correction. And then you can add pitch correction after, but it's gonna be a lot more minor in what it has to do. And just as a reference, this is Melodyne Assistant, which is $150. So it's pretty comparable to Autotune Access, which is usually $100 when it's not on sale. All right, let's do a little comparison. First, I'll play the Melodyne version and then the Autotune version. The song is in the key of A major. I'm just gonna go natural and see what it does. I see the stars at night I'm thinking of you and me I see the stars at night I'm thinking of you and me Yeah, so I don't think the autotune version sounds bad, but the Melodyne is definitely an improvement. I think it's just having everything a little bit more in tune. To be fair, the big advantage of auto-tune is that you can just put it on and with a couple clicks get a tuned sound. And with Melodyne, you need to record it into Melodyne and then make your edits manually, which you can make large edits over everything in there, but the best way to use it is to be a little more nuanced. But that's also the benefit of Melodyne, that you can really dive in there and make super specific edits. With Autotune, it's kind of like you just have a sort of layer that you're putting over all of it. And with Melodyne, you're able to just really get in there and make small changes and kind of make it exactly how you want it to be. And for this type of track, I definitely will take Melodyne any day. For pop or hip hop, like the last song we looked at, I think Autotune does a lot better. You can't overstate the value of having a plugin that you just put on and it gets all of your tuning done, rather than Melodyne where you have to record it in and edit. Especially when you're dealing with vocal stacks, which is very common in pop music, saving that time really helps a lot. I would say they're useful in different circumstances. I think Autotune Access is a great plugin for tuning if you have no other tuning software. Specifically, it's great, like I said, for pop and hip hop. But even if you want natural sounding vocals, I don't think it did a terrible job at that. I just think Melodyne was better. I definitely recommend it, even if you just want to get that hard tuned T-Pain sound, which is why I bought it. What do you think of Autotune? Is this a good value? Should you save up and get the next version? Let me know. Thank you for making it to the end and I'll see you next time. Peace. I just